In this tutorial, we will try to explain step by step the many different pen and brush tools, what they do and their properties, which we often use when drawing or writing custom text in MS Paint. To get the most out of this training, following this content and our previous and subsequent or other related trainings that we publish in series will help you understand and achieve much more. We open MS Paint and start as usual with a clean and blank canvas. Before moving on to the brush tools in turn, we will talk about their similarities and differences with the pen tool. In previous lessons, we have shown that the pen tool increases in circular shape as its size increases, and the same is true for brushes. The most important differences in brushes are that they help us draw more consistently by giving us a size preview before painting, and each brush has its own characteristics such as style, transparency, and anti-aliasing. When working with the basic brush, transparency and softening occur automatically at and around the borders of pixels. The pen tool has no anti-aliasing and draws with hard edges, just like the eraser tool. In previous tutorials, we have talked about how to draw with the eraser tool or its different features. The eraser tool and the pen tool are very similar. The main difference is that the eraser tool is square and the cursor gives a square preview of the erase operation, which helps us to make more consistent operations. We can also erase with the eraser tool or change the color of the designated surface according to the background color. We can also use the brush tools as a drawing or sculpting tool, two-dimensional modeling, sculpting, image manipulation tool, as we have shown in previous lessons with the pen and eraser tool. As with the pen and eraser tools, the brush tools also have presets in the size section, and the size settings are, of course, not limited to this. To access more size options, we can use the key combination, Control and Plus as a shortcut. With the brush tool selected, we increase its size with the key combination, Control and Plus, and decrease it with the key combination, Control and Minus. Now we can start showing all the dimensions of the brush tools, one below the other, starting from the top left corner of our canvas. Our step-by-step -step iterative process continues, and we can now show all thickness options and sizes in an accelerated format to save time. After a level, the size will no longer increase. There is a size scale for the size from a minimum of one pixel to a maximum of 50 pixels. In the brushes section, there are special pens and brushes in different styles. We will try to explain the calligraphy brush with right and left cut tip by showing it step by step with examples. Calligraphy brush, as the name suggests, is a different tool that helps you write calligraphic writing. Calligraphy brushes are right and left diagonal and both serve basically the same function. After quickly presenting and demonstrating the differences of the brushes with short drawings one after the other, we will do a few small examples of basic drawings in turn. After the calligraphy brushes, we will present a basic brush and then an example of a natural pencil. We continue with the crayon and then the spray contour. If you pay attention to the most well-known marker pane, the first layer line is transparent and becomes opaque as additional layers are added. We can use the marker for different drawings besides marking. The last to most commonly used artistic brushes are watercolor and oil paint brushes. Wasting no time, we create references from the ready-made lettering tool to offer small examples of calligraphy brushes and start drawing right away. For the remaining seven different brushes, we can observe their differences by drawing a cube respectively. For each cube drawing, we choose the finest size setting to prepare our basic research lines and the basis for our sketches. When drawing the cubes, we go over the corners and edges to make them more distinct. Finally, for each cube, we create a shadow silhouette on the side. 
Since our drawings are for demonstration purposes and are in series, there may be small mistakes. We update the canvas placements in terms of position every now and then, thanks to the select and move feature. In this way, we have shown the basic drawing characteristics of all brushes and the slight differences between them. The next topic we will show is the color and color mixing properties of brushes. Let's first give an example of a watercolor brush. When we start drawing without lifting the watercolor brush on the canvas, it offers a limited and realistic drawing effect where the paint runs out after a while. If we hold down the left mouse button on the watercolor brush and draw for a while without releasing it, the line can continue and then end. Each time we click the left mouse button, we fill the brush with color. Let's identify the orange colors that will occur between the red and yellow tones. Sample them with the color picker tool and turn the blend into a color gradient effect. We show the color transitions between turquoise and yellow with a natural pencil or marker. The natural pencil line has the ability to keep drawing continuously and without interruption as long as the left mouse button is pressed. With an oil paint brush, we will bring out the purple tones between red and indigo. The oil paint brush is discontinuous, similar to a watercolor brush. So when we hold down the left mouse button and draw for a while without releasing it, the line can continue and then end. Each time you click the left mouse button, the brush fills with color. We have a special method to give a 3D effect or create a special brush tip. Let's talk about it briefly with an example. Thanks to the method we will use, we can use a star brush or star shape as a stamping tool that marks our canvas. The method is quite simple. First, we choose the star from the ready-made shape tools. Then we set the fill and outline brush drawing style to watercolor brush and the colors to green and indigo blue. We create a small star with the settings applied to the bottom right corner of our canvas and then turn it into a transparent selection with the selection tool. Of course, first we need to change the background color to white. When it becomes transparent, we make a copy of it so that we can use it over and over again until we make a new copy each time. When the background of the copied star shape is transparent and selected and we drag it with the shift key pressed and the left mouse button pressed, it will automatically draw successive star drawings. If we move the mouse fast, the distance between the stars widens. If we move the mouse slowly, the distance shrinks. This process is similar to the logic of brushes. In this way, we can develop different basic brush tips to create images and special effects. As with previous work, we recorded our work in stages, presenting it as a simple animation that is a series of moving pictures that we can place serially on a slide. Thus, we have come to the end of this training. If you haven't seen it, we recommend you to watch the previous content we shared in the series and the following ones. We will continue the series with more beautiful trainings and we will be with you again very soon. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to receive notifications for new videos. See you again soon and thanks for watching.